So what do you want to work on today? Uh, let's work on bench press position with the rifle. Excellent. Stick around. You don't want to miss this. Joining us on Shoot of the Series, I'm Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training. We'd like to thank all of our uh, viewers for sticking with us and helping us get traction. And if you haven't already, hit the, uh, the like, hit the share, and also hit the subscribe button. Uh, hit that little bell so you get instant notifications. And that way you'll never miss uh, an episode of our videos. Today we're very fortunate to have uh, our, our guest with us. Jenna. Jenna's a friend of the show. You might recognize her from a previous video. And today we're going to talk a little bit about the bench rest position. And this way you'll have nice, accurate, and repeatable shots. So let's get started. First thing you want to do with your right hand would be to get control of the rifle and grab it by its pistol grip. And you want to put the, put the butt into your shoulder, right into the pocket. And yeah, just like that, you're going to want to put your left hand, your support hand, so it's sort of flat against your shoulder. And by having that, it allows you to pull it in nice and tight into the shoulder. But also, nice thing is, is with your elbows like that in a, a double triangle formation, you're able to have a very strong, very stable grip. And you can also move your elbows in back and forth to adjust for height. Uh, the next thing you want to do is put your cheek right down there on the cheek rest, just exactly like that. You know, her eye is about two to three inches away from the scope, and that way she's got a good, clear view. And real important to mention that you have a real comfortable and consistent, what we call a cheek weld, so that when you're up against the rifle, it's the same every single time. And that's how you get that repeatability and accuracy between shots. You know, one of the things you'll notice is Jenna's got her hand back here on her shoulder, which is extremely important. Sometimes you'll see people on the range, they're going to put their support hand up here. However, if you've got a bipod, you really don't need that extra support up front. The bipod's going to do all that for you. So this is going to give you a lot more stability, a lot more accuracy, and a lot more consistency. So stick around in a couple of minutes, and we're going to put some rounds through this so you can see how it all works. Thanks for watching our videos, and if you enjoy watching them and want to see more of them, you can also consider come checking us out on our Patreon channel. For as little as $2 a month, you'll have access to the blogs, you'll have access to extra original videos, discounts on clothing, and also some giveaways. So come check us out. All right, we're back. You ready to put some rounds down range? Yeah. Um, what are these targets we're shooting at today? All right. Hey, these were sent in from our good friends at Sharp Target. And uh, what these do is these are a nice little holder made out of uh, steel that you can push into the ground and they're going to hold your clay target up just like so. Um, I'd recommend using them in softer ground, um, but this looks like a real easy way of being able to uh, see your targets without just tossing them out on the ground. So, let me move these out of the way. We'll get started. All right, so you want to start by picking up your magazine and sliding that into the magazine well. Good. Pull the hammer back, let it slide forward. You're good. Let's get you into the position. Yep, just like that. You're going to want to make sure you flick the safety off before you get started. It's right there. That's good. When you've got a good full view of the, of the target through the, the scope, you're pretty much ready to go. That was awesome. Nice. What do you think? It's a pretty cool target. Yeah. <laughs> it's great watching you hit those things too. You wasted no time going after the 50. 
Excellent. Well, we, we had a lot of fun with this product. We think it stood up really well. We're going to be using it some more. Um, we'd like to thank Jenna for coming out and helping us demonstrate how this all works. We'd like to thank our friends at Sharp Targets for sending those out. On behalf of Shooter the Series, I'm Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training. Y'all take care.